on my uh on my screen and say good morning to you coach corn i'm glad you snuck in the room what do you have for us oh yeah yeah well hopefully i didn't cram you on your timing for everybody it looks like you're still gonna pull it off in an amazing fashion michelle <laughs> but you know i sit here today in total amazement and think how does Don Hobbs get in my phone and send me messages through Facebook and all kinds of stuff that tie up with the message that uh, uh, you all came up with for today? <laughs> so this is a sad one. Uh, today, you're talking about reinventing yourself. And I, I just got the announcement pop up on my phone today that Bruce Willis uh, was just announced with aphasia, if I said that correctly, if anybody else knows what that is, it. I guess it's a disease or a, a situation that takes you away from remembering how to speak and talk and and do all kinds of stuff. And uh, he's having to step away from acting because he won't be able to do it. Bruce Willis is the goat of acting. I mean, talk about reinventing yourself to be in a situation like that where you're even forced to. So the one thing I would say on today, and we have so many speakers on stage that are just, I mean, just totally bring it, bring their A game. They've got, everybody's got challenges. Every single person's got something that's happened and they've reinvented themselves or maybe not reinvent. They were, they were born with it or whatever, and they've taken advantage of it and turned it into something amazing because I sit here every day and go, this is my mojo. So I'm just going to give four quick things because I want to get it back over to everybody else as well. I'm going to give four quick steps to reinvent yourself. So the first one is to start with a blank page. You know, just get out the biggest, like even one of those big old art notebooks. I know Mike, Michael Gerber does a dreaming room and he gives you this big art pad that has the big flip spiral. You know, I don't know. It's like a 14 by 18 sheet of paper. Start with a blank sheet and just start creating the ultimate vision. If you were to close your eyes and go, you know, just pretend like we didn't bump into each other for 10 years. And if I bumped in you in 10 years and said, oh, my gosh, what has happened? What are you doing in 10 years? And you just start describing the ultimate thing. So make that vision the ultimate vision so big that your vision is so big that, that this is the bonus part I want you to add that it's going to be big enough to bring a whole bunch of people with you because taking people with you is even more fun. And to have a big enough vision that you can out vision everybody else's vision so they can fit inside yours and have their vision come true. And when I say that, I think of Disney. You know, I use the Disney experience all the time. Walt Disney's vision was so big he took the most ultimate, ultimate uh, artists and, and creators and brought them into his vision. And his was still way bigger than everybody else. He was way out there. Uh, so number two is once you create that, now create a timeline. A timeline between right where you are now today and what that big vision looks like. And what are those steps in between to start moving towards that? So really just draw the timeline first and here's where today is and here's the vision. And then you'll start figuring out what that next step is like Dr. Ruth was talking about. So then three, to find out more of those steps or once you get a couple of those steps down, find others that are doing that step. Find others that are doing that step really, really well and go shadow them, get to meet them, introduce yourself to them. And I literally just had a conversation with an agent, a real estate agent that sells 130 homes a year. And he came to me to say, what am I missing? Like there's something missing. And we did the same exact thing. I said, you got to figure out where you are and what you're envisioning that you're missing and what that looks like. And then go to the mastermind that we're going to have in April and bring the no, those next step questions up. That is because he asked, what training should I go to? I said, it's a mastermind with people that are already doing what you're doing and going where you're going. And then the last thing I'll leave you, leave you with is then to take action. Once you get that stuff out there, you find others and you're like, even today, everything that you've written down on your notes, take action, take that first step. Again, Dr. Ruth said, and everybody has said, take a step towards that. You won't even realize how you got there and you won't even realize it'll feel like 
you know, you got there in a day and it might be 10 years, it might be 20 years, who knows, but get, take that next step and then take step two and then take step three. And as Michael Gerber is yelling in my head right now, don't try to go to step four. Don't figure out what step five is and figure out what that's got to look like. Just take step one and then take step two. That's my share for today, Michelle. <sighs> Brad, you're on it today. Thank you for that. I hope people were taking notes uh, because I think that's so important. And, you know, as you were talking, my mind was all over the place. The idea of masterminds is absolutely brilliant and, you know, so easy. And a lot of people pay a lot of money for masterminds. But you know what? You can create a mastermind in your own community simply by reach out. Like if Facebook is a really great way to do that. I saw that happen. I live in a tiny town called Pelham, New York, and uh, we have this, this Facebook group called Moms of Pelham. And then another one called Parents of Pelham. And in the Parents of Pelham, one parent just said, hey, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking of starting a new company. I'm really scared, looking for people who would want to support me in a mastermind. And do you know, like that, you could not believe the number of people that signed up to participate. People who, you know, were all different stages of success, but still driven towards it. And so, uh, and that ended up being something that was free. And you cannot believe the buzz, like how uh, the things that have happened out of it. I'm thinking someone's going to write a New York Times article out of, about it. So uh, don't o only believe that you've got to pay a bazillion dollars to become part of a mastermind. Some of them are relatively inexpensive, and some of them, if you're committed, are nothing at all. Uh, it's just your time. And so with that, I'd like to pass the mod mic back down again and see if Daniel is available. And he's not. 